So my wife and I have been playing a little game back and forth. Uh, the kids have gotten this uh, little insect cockroach thing, uh, and my wife and I have been hiding it in places that we think would surprise the other person. She got me this time. So that was good. That was good. All right, on to NPM. You know what? Sorry, I lied. This week it's not actually a node package. It's JQ, which is a JSON parsing uh, and querying command line tool. It's just that I use it so often and with so many JavaScript projects that I kind of just lump it into the NPM and node world. And if you haven't explored it yet, then you definitely should because it is, it is a critical command line tool when dealing with JavaScript JSON objects. The way it works is that you specify a query on the command line and JQ parses the JSON, runs the query, and then outputs the results of that query. As far as command line tools go, JQ is incredibly full featured. It is a very extensive query language. It supports regular expressions, conditional expre expressions, assignments, uh, it even allows you to pipe queries from one to another. If you wanna use JSON APIs on the command line, JQ is an essential tool to wedge into the pipeline in order to translate output from something like curl into something other tools can use. Here we're querying the issues for jQuery on GitHub uh, using GitHub's fantastic API. We're piping it through JQ and we're getting the title for each. JQ prints beautifully color-coded output depending on the return type. You can strip those types just by passing dash R in order to make it more easily translatable for other tools. And some of the power here is just using it the way you would any other command line tool. Here I'm in my development source folder. This is where I keep all my projects. A lot of them are Node or JavaScript based projects and then package.json files in them. I can look for all those package.json files with the find command and I can ex execute JQ over all those files in order to find something like all the dependencies I have for the projects in my development source folder. Or let's say I want to find every description for every NPM module that I've installed across all my projects. Bam, as easy as a one line command line script. It's fantastic. Uh, so it's not an NPM package, I lied, but it is indispensable and critical for uh, command line tooling around JavaScript and JSON. And there you have it, JQ is installable via your package tool with whatever, whatever distribution you're using. Uh, it's accessible via uh, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, on Mac, you can use Homebrew. On Windows, you can use Chocolatey to install it, just Chocolatey install JQ. So there we have it, our weekly highlight. Thank you for stopping by, it was great to have you. If you like this stuff, uh, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to get notified when things pop up. Uh, and see you next time, thank you. That, I just, <laughs> I placed this down on my table and uh, I did get a little surprised. So uh, I guess I am easily surprisable. Arrgh!